sure to tune in to At Home with Christ Ministries with Julie Thomas, broadcasting Monday nights at 8 p.m. live on LICMC.net radio, Facebook, and YouTube. Hello, and welcome to another edition with the At Home with Christ Ministries and the Well-Watered Christian Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about Esther's perfume in the, in the Bible. Now, you may think of perfume as the perfume that we wear, but perfume has a different kind of meaning also. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that today. But first, let's go back for a minute and remember when we were talking about our, our indignations and how it refers to our injustice. So our perfume, your perfume, has a lot to do with how you handle your injustices in your life. <clears throat> so let's get started. We know that we've learned so far that how we handle our injustices matters. And we know that we can all get into heated disagreements, which is called a, con a connotation, a, he a heated disagreement. And we know that these things all matter. It all matters how you handle yourself. But what we have learned from reading and studying the book of Esther is that bitterness can creep in to our souls and into our hearts. And when that happens, we become our hearts become hardened. So now we're going to talk a little bit about bitterness. First of all, bitter, bitterness is an, is an unfulfilled revenge. You get it? It's an unfulfilled type of revenge. And secondly, it is a fruit of unforgiveness that breeds resentment. But then you have to know that <clears throat> resentment always wants you to win. So when you're bitter, you have an unfulfilled purpose or something that you feel that you was treated unfairly about. So a lot of us, when we're out there and we have these heated disagreements or our heated injustices, our, our indignations, we become, and we become bitter. And that bitter carries around a different type of perfume, one that gives off a bad file vibe. <clears throat> One word that you should know is a word that is called myra. It is a sort of a plant that is used to purify and preserve stuff. And this is a type of a plant that is bitter. And what, why are we talking about this plant? We'll come back to it in a minute. <clears throat> Bitterness destroys the inner peace and can cause health problems, including personal relationships. So your bitterness that you're carrying around out there, women and men, can destroy relationships and destroy inner peace. Do you want to destroy your um, relationships? Do you do want to destroy the inner peace? Do you want to walk around with that bitter, that bitter foul vibe? That's the type of perfume you're walking around with. You're walking around with a with a vibe and a perfume that is giving off a foul odor. <clears throat> okay, so our indignations and how we are treated sometimes can be unfairly and can, because it is what bitterness grows out of. So what we're saying is your indignations, your unfair justice 
can grow bitterness out of it. You become bitter and your heart starts hardening. And when that happens, you're bitter and you're going to continue to carry this around. <clears throat> so also, a bitter person is someone who has who has bitterness or a foul odor. Not like you stink or you're telling someone you stink, but their persona stinks. Their personality stinks because they're bitter. Now, perfume can be come in all types of shapes and sizes. Women have all types of different types of perfumes because women have all types of different personalities like Esther in the Bible. She had a warm and loving personality. Her perfume was inviting. So I want you to think for a minute, what kind of perfume are you wearing? What kind of perfume is in your bottle? <clears throat> now, when we are talking about our perfume, we have to think for a woman, it depends on how you respond to certain things in your life. How do you respond to those indignations, those injustices in your life? How do you respond to those circumstances, to those problems? These are all components and the things that you have to talk about when you're talking about that bitterness, because it all depends on how you will respond. <clears throat> now, there is a such thing as the spirit of bitterness. But before we even get into that, bitterness brings fear and anxiety. And you can look that up in Job 27, 8, 27 through 28. Bitterness will also bring heaviness on your heart. Bitterness also <clears throat> can be found in Proverbs 14.10. Now, the spirit of bitterness can, can defile love because the person can be from, become rude and fault-finding. So when you start thinking about pointing the finger at other people, and how this person is rude and they keep finding fault, that person may be carrying around bitterness in their heart. <clears throat> now, Paul said that bitterness is a seed of the devil. Because bitterness is a sin. It is a sin to carry around a lot of bitterness in your heart. And our Lord wants us to learn to forgive. He wants us to learn to forgive. So just like Esther in the Bible to purge out the bitterness and the hurt in her heart, she had to go through a six months period. Now here's where that Myra plant, the bitterness plant, because the first six months was a process that she had to go through that dealt with various types of plants, various types of spices to purge out the bitterness. And this is a process which is unusual. But in our own way, God wants us to purge those bitterness and other bad things out of our souls so we can grow, so we can grow. And you have to know that bitterness comes from sins. So you have to understand what we sin. God doesn't want you to walk around feeling bitter. He doesn't want you to carry that bitterness around. The world is full of injustices. The world is full of hate. 
So God wants you to, 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 to not to walk around, not to carry that bitterness, not to, not to carry that foul odor. You got to change what is in your heart today, people. Change what is in your heart today so your heart does not become hardened. And this is the story of the bitter woman. A bitter woman is a woman who carries around hatred in her heart because her heart is hardened. If you are bitter out there today, then you better begin to learn to forgive. You better go to Jesus Christ and you better confess your sins and you better ask for forgiveness. And then you better start forgiving those people who you are walking around with that bitterness in, who you are walking around with that hate, or you will be on the other side of the door. And with that, I'd like to thank you. And just a reminder that um, October the 7th, we're having our Make Your Way to God conference. Uh, you can still get tickets. Just inbox me on um, Messenger, Julie Thomas, for more information. Or you can email me, juliethomas232 at yahoo.com. And thank you. Be sure to tune in to At Home with Christ Ministries with Julie Thomas. Broadcasting Monday nights at 8 p.m. Live on LICMC.net, radio, Facebook, and YouTube.